Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Evil Genius 2 where we carry on with our Emma playthrough, our sort of deception uh, focused run, uh, having a lot of fun with this one. Again, thank you so much to Rebellion for providing me with a key and sponsoring this video as well. It's actually the last of our sponsored coverage, but we're still going to be covering Evil Genius a lot here on the channel. So if you are new here and you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe for all of your evil needs. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, we're currently running two uh, playthroughs on the channel here. This first one is a little bit more subdued a little bit sort of slower pace we're sort of focusing concentrating um and uh, taking it easy the other one we're playing as a leaker we're all about crazy science and traps and loads of heat and agents coming in and blowing the base up and it's pretty insane but we're doing that one as live streams 9 a.m eastern every single weekday and then we're coming into this and just trying to be a little bit more of a sort of calculating presence here with emma um so we're working on the mancunian candidate we we're also working on the Sword of the Stone. Now, this is finished. Uh, unfortunately, there was a little bit of a bug where I, I finished the. I started recording this episode. I finished this, um, but the fire it was throwing down all over the place didn't stop. Um, and we carried on playing, and, and I moved it around, and I did all this, and it was still just burning the building up. And, I was, and so I loaded an old save and redid it off camera just to make sure it was working. It seems to have been uh, seems to have solved the problem. So you know, early release bugs. There's already been a patch since this video has come out anyway. Um, so probably just a little thing that they've figured out um, but it does mean that that's done now and occasionally a guard will walk past and try and pull it out and then he gets a little thought bubble saying that he's thinking about it can't actually tell what it seems to be doing but still it's nice to have some loot in the uh, in the place um, so we're going to carry on working on discrediting Walcott's campaign so let's jump to the world map and see about that uh, where we've got a heat so on the other playthrough we've basically opened the world here we're playing a little bit more um, cards against our chest I suppose but I do think we're going to have to start upping it a little bit because otherwise we're just going to be always struggling around this 20 grand mark. So for now, we'll get started on this one. That's going to cost us 15,000. But it is going to give us 20%. So what do the blue ones cost us? Uh, oh, that's happening. Okay, so if that happens, what about... Well, where's another one we can do? Here. Uh, it doesn't tell me. Is it got one we can tell now? Ah, uh, do you know what? We'll just we'll do that one. We'll launch it. Fifteen gold, whatever. It means there's no minions going. It'll get done. That one and that one. That gives us the hundred that we need there. But yeah, I think I would like to start spreading out because the the sort of money that we're bringing in, the sort of residual cash, does seem to help. And like I say, on the other game, we've got about fifteen of these open now, and it's pretty much always going up if we're not doing anything super crazy. So let's go back to the uh, the world, the, the, the game even, excuse me, and we're going to look at this space and we're gonna, really going to try and flesh out this um, uh, this room here. And I hope it doesn't cause too much of an issue being here on the ground floor. I mean, we could move it up a level, but the plan is here always that uh, characters rarely get past this sort of space. So, oh, talking of which... Talking of which, let's get all of these set to distract. There we go. And hopefully it will just keep coming up with poor quality ones. And then I'm also going to have a look at our minions. Just make sure we've got enough. We've got 13 valets, 15 at once. Uh, I'm actually going to push that up to 20. We're going to go. We're going to go heavy valet. 25. Hell. Nice. Oh, there we go. Good. Perfect. I showed them Walcott's emptiness and they elected her anyway. I was right about this world. Mom, new recruiting numbers are in. Oh, what is it now? I don't have time for more bad news. Actually, man, we're reporting record numbers this month. Your message reached a lot of people. So lifelines do exist and I know just how to put them to use. Pull out all my files on Project V-E-N-O-M. Venom. We are Venom. <laughs> Somebody pointed out in the last episode, this looks like Mickey Mouse. That isn't meant to be a uh, sort of commentary on corporate greed. <laughs> but you're right, it does a little. <laughs> so we've got to lure three doctors from the world stage to here and interrogate them. And then we're going to complete research project Venom Sample. So I believe that's going to open up 
here. Yes, world domination. There we go. Main objective. So we need 45,000 gold. Woo! Uh, three data that I assume there's the three that we get from the site from the uh, doctors there. Okay, so we need the doctors before we do that. But yeah, money is definitely too tight to mention right now. So we're going to try and expand this space a bit. Or at least, actually, we don't even need to do much at the minute. We just need to bring some of these radio repeaters in, I think. Um, so let's go one, two. Well, how many could we get? Three that way, do you think? If we, if we do one, two. No, because of the screen. So if we knock, if we knock that re bit of screen back. I mean, we can't afford half of them, but if we knock that screen back, we get another row in there. I think that's probably what we'll aim towards doing, because um, I'm trying enjoying kind of keeping the base pretty tight on this uh, on this playthrough, whereas we've gone a bit sprawling elsewhere. Uh, okay, lots of guards hanging around. All of those are being dealt with. Looks like most of them are being kicked off. That's good, and I'm assuming they're going back with zero sub suspicion. Yeah, with low resolve and zero suspicion. Um, and I assume when they she he starts walking with her, there you go. Your resolve is enough to leave, and you're leaving as well. I think one died actually. One kick came in here and started kicking off. Uh, little infirmary there, just in case, because that seems to be a handy spot for it to be. Uh, but otherwise, we're running out of gold. I know, I know. Um, let's see where in the world these grabbable folks are. Dr. Akopian thinks your island is a five-star casino experience. Send a minion to pick him up, give him the VIP treatment, and then escort him right into your lair. Uh, just a valet. But we need a network there. Well, when that broadcast strength thing is built, we'll start on there. Where else? Who are you up there? Dr. Batan? Oh, you're not going to come easy. Look at that. Five guards and six valets. And we need to set up a network there. And then over here. Discredit Walcott's campaign. I feel like that should have gone away now. And then are you the third one? Technicians and scientists. Dutch Chang is hiding in Fiji. My con Fiji? That's not Fiji. My control. Um, a team of dolphins to kidnap her while she swims in the sparkling sea and bring her to the rendezvous point where your team is waiting with a helicopter. Okay. Fiji via... What's that? Maybe Turkey? <laughs> That's cool. Uh, otherwise, I'm happy just to kind of leave it as is. But we need all of those unlocking. So those new desks that we built are basically going to be for scouting. So one there, uh, one there, and then I don't think we built a third one, did we, just yet? So there we go. We can just scout those out. Once that one goes in, we can scout that third one, and then this can just be a fourth one to bring in a bit of cash. Okay, I've got two of those going then. Dr. Akopian up here. I think. Oh, no, sorry. Batia there, and this one is Akopian. Uh, and then Chang over here in VG, <laughs> Eastern Europe. Uh, we need a bit of cash for that, 15 gold. So we'll do 15,000. So we'll do that when we can. Um, and then we need to interrogate them. While we're doing that, let's have a look at a new side mission. Because we haven't done one of those for a little while. We've got some money here. Nice. Oh, that means we could probably just start that one straight away. Let's just get it done. Yeah. Nice. Launch. First one's done up here. Nice. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, I mean, heat's going to keep creeping up now, but is that, a, is that a valet one? Yeah, go on then, uh, launch. Uh, seems like heat creeps up everywhere, even if you're not really doing anything. Um, so it's always worth just sending these out every now and again if you want to try and keep on top of uh, uh, your heat tracker, you know? So yeah, side mission, let's have a look. Uh, this one. So we oh that was right we were going to bring in him weren't we uh, so oh no haha <laughs> I started this on the other one that I had to resave over because of the sword because uh, uh, the Avalon sword was playing up but yes this one uh, start size sorry so I've been looking for a place to use my talents I could make this place the hottest thing around we'll see Let's check up on the people I hire in Sendio if that is your real name. It's not. <laughs> I'll find out who you are and how you manage to be in two places at once or to be two people at once. So yes, Incendio, despite the fact that he is now going to start pottering around our casino, um, 
he uh, he he's out on the world map as well, and we're going to have to figure out why or how he is able to do both. So where is he? I think he's over here, right? Yes, yeah, so we're going to have to set up a scout over here, which we can do, luckily. But there he is, Casino Cover Up. Tiny Dents Macau holds the current world record for gambling revenue per capita. Send minions to stake out the blackjack and baccarat tables and get the staff talking about anyone who meets the magician's description. Uh, there we go. So we need two valets and six scientists. Uh, do we not have any scientists? Did we did we send them all off on that last one? How are we doing for training? Uh, hmm. Ah, I know what we did. We I got rid of some scientists because they're expensive and they went, and we didn't really use them much. Uh, yeah, target amount, current amount two. What the hell just happened? <laughs> well, we'll set that to be ten then, I guess. What happened then? We lost. So we lost some. No, 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 no. Morale is low. Come and get yourself in here for a bit then. Yeah, because I suppose we see scientists for research, but we also need to be sending them out in the world. So maybe we do start to have a few more. I cut the numbers down to try and save a bit of cash, but you know, you spend little, you spend twice, right? All right, the first two have uh, arrived along with a whole host of heavies. So we're going to get these to be distracted. Um, no, so he's Incendio. I don't I don't believe he. we do anything with him. Yeah, he's just going to potter about until we figure out what's going on. And then these ones, we need to... I think it's, a, it's, it's capture, so... And you as well, capture. Where are you wandering off to over there? Running low on power. What did we just put in? Oh, I put some bars in. <laughs> uh, scam tourist, sure. What do you do? Just give them slightly less uh, alcohol. Where are you going? What am I meant to do with you going down there? Really, I've not seen anyone wander down there. I've seen people come up here. Can they come down onto the beach? Well, I'm, I'm glad you're having a lovely time. Can't let's get the hell out of me. Okay, this was this distract zone. This is good. This I've been looking forward to this one. Um, we're going to figure that out just now. I think in the meantime, well, we're probably going to do anything just now because we're skint. But uh, in the meantime. All of these is pr probably pretty good. Uh, Edo Games improves his science. Station minions will respond to agents spotted on security cameras. Softest seats for the hardest minions. Oh, it's an advanced guard table. Station minions will respond to agents spotted on security cameras. Right, okay. Partially restores minion morale and vitality. These beds will guarantee a good night's sleep, cutting minion downtime considerably. Oh, okay. But it looks like it's only a single bed and not a, dunk, a bunk bed. So we're using a lot more space for it. Um, we can do further mining technique. We can do multimedia operations. Emotional minion smarts. Hmm. Very little for uh, deception minions to improve. Isn't there? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, very little to improve deception minions' sort of abilities and stuff. Like a, a morale, a deception morale would be would be good. Anyway, let's um, let's stop wasting time with this guy. Let's come and uh, you figuring it out? There we go. Got little traps on the stairs there, didn't you, boys? You're okay though. You've got it. Um, okay, so we need to interrogate you. Oh, no, wrong one. <laughs> uh, escort prisoner to there. Why is this not man? I hate, this should always be manned. No, no, no. No. No, they haven't. Yes, correct. Oh, naughty little fellow then, eh? We could do with a slightly bigger room, because we're going to run out of uh, we're going to run out of uh, places to stick them. What do we need? Prison. There we go. 
So they're three wide, so we just that'll that'll do. I feel like that's plenty of room, right? And then the armory can come down to there. Oops. And then oops. One more of those. Should be fine for power, I think. Okay, should we try that again? Let's try that again. Did we bring in the second one? Yeah. And then next time there's a boat. We'll be coming in. Okay. So we managed to get rid of those three. There's still two more, but yeah. So let's have a look at this. Um, lots of plants and stuff. Let's have a look. How do we do this um, like painting type? We've unlocked it. But I don't know how we actually put it in. Like, if you look at research, uh, minions here. It unlocks standing orders for minions to distract any agents they find in a specific part of the lair. So, how do we do it, though? It's not an item. I don't under, I don't know how we do that then how do we how do we draw an area do we do we click on cameras and say if they're seen on this camera stop intruders and alert any muscle minions using the guard table in the armory huh do we do it here in corridor well I'm not sure about that one We'll have to come back to that one. We'll have to do it manually for now until I can have a little look into it. So you also need to be uh, interrogated. And then at some point number three will arrive. The boat just dropped people off. Has it dropped off a, a doctor? It has. What are you going down there for? Sunshine. Anyone else or just uh, tourists ready to be fleeced? Looks like just tourists ready to be fleeced. Nice. We are sending a team out to figure out what's going on with Incendio. How long is that going to take? Oh, three minutes. Not so bad. So whilst we're figuring out what's going on there and who this masked man on our island is, we're going to do some uh, some chilling out there of uh, heat. It's a little high. There they go. Excuse me. And then over here, where else did I say we were going to do that? Oh, that might be actually. Everyone else isn't so bad. Okay. Return to Lair. Um, the third fellow here is just wandering around and doesn't seem to come inside. Ah, never mind. Scratch that. He's now coming inside. He's thinking about it. He's captured. He's captured? Who's caught him? <laughs> He's just come to the front door and been like, right, yeah, come on. You want me, don't you? <laughs> um, so he's in there and he's the third one. So. A scheme, oh, scheme has succeeded. The gambler is Incendio, known for pulling off a heist that required him to be in two places at once. That was in Monaco. Maybe someone there remembers him. Okay, so Monaco is over here in Spain. Uh, six workers, four guards, and two valets. Oof. Launch. Wow. Tell you one thing I've noticed. In in this uh, in this sequel, the original, uh, the, this is a lot more involved. Like, the first game, you would be like, yeah, go and get a guy. Click the button. It's done. Hooray. You know, whereas now it's like, you actually feel like you're on a bit of a mission, you know? Strike like the wind. The angry homicidal wind. Oh, I wonder who that is. Something is happening in Hammer Territory and they're treating it like a nail. Rumours are that an old master returning. But what's fact? What's fiction? And what's clickbait? Okay, so that's Jubei. Oh yeah, there we go. Old man Jubei. Uh, who else is there? Crime Lord. I roboticist. Some promising new marriage troops are circulating in the back market and the roboticist seems to be the manufacturer. Hit her, plant and share the tech and the wealth with your team. And high on the hog. More loot. Nice. Flying pigs, right? So I kind of want the loot. I, I mean, I'm a... Oh, nice. 
Research done. What was that again? What did I just do? Oh, henchmen upgrades. Yes. So now the henchmen are a bit more stronger. Uh, I guess that one, if we've got the money. Just more more minions. Minion heavy, henchman heavy play we're doing here. So are you all... Oh, yeah. Look at this. 250, 200, 177. Superb. Oh, hello there. I've just wondered... Just wondered. Hmm. No, I was just thinking where that where that zone could be that we've got that deception zone. Never mind. Uh, escort prisoner to here. Where are you, folks? Yes, here. Hello. I want you to distract that intruder if you can find them. I do want you to distract that intruder if you can find them. You'll find them. Any second now, as they walk through the front door. Okay. Otherwise, I think everything's sort of cooking on gas here. We're ticking along quite nicely. We've, apart from running out of gold, <laughs> everything's doing pretty nicely. Uh, power is never going out at the moment, which is good. Um, you know, the world is figuring stuff out. I, yeah, we're not playing a gold-heavy game. This is, you know, intrigue and influence and information that's our currency anywhere getting pretty high on heat no i mean that's ticking up a little we could probably lower it with that a bit there we go i wonder why this is still up publish dirt discredit walcott's campaign i mean we could, we could my worry is that it's going to lock other ones off being there while well, that one's up you know Trace the Magician's partner on the world stage. We're doing it. I wonder where we're going to go next. Aha! He's dead now. Well, I don't want to talk about it. We've all got our pasts. We've all got a little darkness in us. Darkness, you say? You know how I am. Fine. Let me show you what I can do. Give a trial performance at a floor show. Cool. So, how does that work, then? Here, trial performance. Get off the stage, valet. Get off the stage. Okay, good. Come on, Incendio. Where where are you? Let's see what you can do, sunshine. Oh, clever stuff. Pretty good trick, that buddy. Making the ace of spades float from over and over again for a rather long period of time. I can see the wires. <laughs> Spell, spell effect's pretty good though, isn't it? I feel like if you actually were magical, you would do more than make the ace of spades float around your hands. <laughs> now that's awesome. He's cool. So he's definitely a deception uh, focused minion, which is good. That means we've got two now, because even though Eli does have a gun, uh, you know, his other ability is uh, is definitely a deception-y one. So that's cool. He'll, he'll carry on doing his, uh, his thang. And I did. Look at all the attention you're getting. Wrong kind of attention. You'll pay for your damage. You'll pay for everything. Never pay for anything if I can help it. Not even my drinks. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was not ready for that. Whoa, what? <laughs> Where's... Do we have... Do we have... Do we have things? Where... <laughs> Jeez. Put a couple of these bad boys in. And hope they get delivered on time. Wow. Yeah. Let's hope it doesn't spread. And it just means we have to... Oh, we have to capture him now. Oh, the, the fires have completely burned my casino out. Nice. Are they anywhere else? A minion has caught fire. <laughs> okay, well, good job, folks. I, I assume we rebuild our casino. I'm going to hold off until we capture him, just in case we get some, like, cash or, or free items or something. But, wow, what an arsehole. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. But, like I say, I do like that they are... They're bad guys till they're good guys. Or good guys till they're bad guys, I suppose. Or just different bad guys until they're good guys. Ba different bad guys until they're bad guys. <laughs> Now what do we do? 
Interrogate him at a freeze ray. Oh no, we don't even have that researched. There it is. Ah, so we're going to have to finish researching the minion booster that we're doing now. Hope he doesn't run away too much. And while he does, we'll research a freeze ray. Our freeze ray has been finished. Uh, while we're here, let's just put something else on. I'm not too fussed about other traps until we need them. But now, I, I'm trying to think what's good for us. I mean, these would be great, but we can't do them yet. Uh, basic training. Worker smarts is 50 up. Science minion vitality. I mean, that's maybe good. I don't know. Uh, advanced guard pose. I mean, that's probably quite useful that there's just guards around wherever I want them to be. And, and we still haven't done stairs yet. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we'll probably go for the guard post when, when we have a bit of cash. But for now... We don't. Okay, so we can build a freeze ray. Uh, so I'm going to... Mm, I can put it where it's going to be relatively... Let's put it there. <laughs> it's going in and coming back out again. We're not We're not playing a trap-heavy uh, game here. Everyone just got really hungry, look. <laughs> um, so we'll put it in for this and then get rid of it again. If you want to see us do traps, join us in the live stream. Look at this. This is what happens when you've got no casino equipment in your casino. You just get an ant infestation of valets who are going to distract the absolute heck out of uh, out of these I need that intruder. And there you go do your worst all of them get jumped on nice uh, okay here we go there's the trap gone in Oof, nice hopefully nobody set it off by accident so now we click oops uh, no 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 Inter escort prisoner to the freeze ray. Who's going to do it? It's going to be a random minion or looks like it's this fellow here. Interrogate a prisoner. Nice. Andres Mayer. A real delicate skull. Won't fight ever. Oh, well, just torture someone. <laughs> I'm a torturer, not a fighter. Here we go. Let's come and get him. Okay, you ready? Oof. There we go. Got very low vitality, very low skill, very low resolve. We did everything but nearly kill him. Luckily, he hasn't realised that the door shut behind him. Yeah, what's in the empty? We've got money coming in. Don't worry. Don't worry. It trickles in as long as we don't make any crazy, uh, crazy points. We, we 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 do okay. We do okay. Where are you going? Yeah, taking the long way around, aren't you? Biding your time, I know your game. Let's move these out of the way so we can see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Superb. Yeah. And if that doesn't teach you your lesson, I don't know what will. We've learned a great deal about you. All your tricks are laid bare. I'm learning too. If you think I won't use what I discovered to take my revenge, you don't know me at all. The only thing you'll learn is just how hot it can get for you here. But though there's fire, there's always smoke. <gasps> what? What? Cool incendio down with a chili raspberry right. Collect reward. I mean I'll take the 50 grand, but where is he? Eye on the hog. Let's start it. I want the I want the loot. What? I can't believe it after all that. He snuck off. What a horror. Okay. Well, we gotta keep our eyes out for incendio in the future. I thought I thought that was it. I thought we were getting him. Thought he was joining us. Thought we'd, I thought we'd wore him down, but no. So, uh, next thing we need to do then is there's research to, to be done on Project Venom. So let's take a look at that. Uh, Venom sample. Cost 45 gold. Well, that was probably a good time to do it then. Because, um, 
uh, because we did uh, we just got 50 gold from him so that's not so bad I suppose research has started on that at 4% uh, high on the hog steel records on the world stage let's go and check that out then so where where on the world stage are these records here so we need to be level two network over here. So we need some extra broadcast strength, which we're just going to gain from building this room out a bit. So about time we did that, I guess. Oops. Um, we can. I don't want to go too far over to the lab because I feel like the lab is going to go this way. But I don't really love just having a big old box, honestly. Training is probably going to come out this way. Ah, for now, that's fine, I suppose. We haven't even got enough gold for the room itself. What about something like that? Uh, actually, that big. We can get a couple of these in there, can't we? Yeah, okay. So, do we leave the screen there, or is that a bit silly? I think we probably move the screen right to the back of the room, don't we? I and mean, we could always have multiple screens as well, I think. It decreases the rate of heat builds. I mean, there's any reason why we can't have a load of those, I don't suppose. All right, and then let's just let's just do that. Let's just open the room up first and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with the space. Our research on Project Venom is nearly finished. <laughs> What I want to do next, I don't know. What were we going to do? I mean, we just don't have the money for a lot of it. <laughs> okay. Go to objectives. Collect the reward. What do we get? Five workers and five intel. Sure. Fascinating idea. A gas to induce the deepest bloodlust. It could work. A gas. Hmm. Deployed worldwide, it could cause the war to end all wars. Indeed, humanity would shrug off all pretenses of being anything besides the vicious beasts I know them for. Mum, I'm afraid we don't have the logistical support for a global operation. I know that well. That will be our next step. To grow into a tree mighty enough to bear this poisonous fruit. Mm, okay, so we'll lock new million types, four of six. Have 30,000 gold stored in the lair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, construct new criminal networks. Complete new research. Okay, complete loot side stories. Oh, I was, you know, some of it we're working on. New minion types, I don't know. Is that... I think we have to... Um, interrogate people for that sort of stuff, do we? I'm not really sure how we unlock new minion types, actually, unless there's stuff on the world map. Let's have a look. Where are the level 2 places? Here is a level 2 place. I don't seem to... What's this one here? Uh, sell the British Royal Family. <laughs> yeah, says perfect. Hmm. Uh, it's just a good old chunk of cash, is that one? Yeah. Zotelo, Steel World's most potent pheromone from Parisian Perfume Lab. 120,000 gold? It takes an hour and three scientists. Wow. Uh, heat's pretty high here. Can we can we knock our heat down a little? Uh, three valets. Yeah, there we go. And I think we might have to do this one to clear it out. So, yeah, I don't know whether there's just tasks for grabbing... Uh, better quality. Group of science specialists have been looking for employment for the right price. We get five technicians for fifteen for a hundred and fifty thousand gold. No, sorry, fifteen thousand gold. Okay. Um, lack of heat, yeah. Uh, lack of heat for money. Um, total code three hundred and five thousand gold for six scientists over an hour, but it gains eighty heat. So we need to have zero heat there before we do that. Interesting that we can have these larger sort of uh, larger standing cash things, but no, we need to get over here next with a, with a level two. But we can't upgrade yet because we don't have a broadcast strength, and we can't do that until we finish this, and we can't do this until we've got some money. Oof! This is going to be a bit of a sesh. Okay, we need two more uh, networks, but I also wanted to double this one up, so we did that instead because I want the pig. So, <laughs> I'm going to launch the scheme. Uh, it's records we're stealing. Uh, there to be at least one mention of a flying pig. Yes. We're out of gold, but I'm more bothered about the flying pig, honestly. 
if we get a flying pig flying around the base, then I feel like it was all in the, worth it in the end. <laughs> now that you have the entire contents of the Patriot National News Archive on your hard drive, scare it for any mentions of a flying pig. Uh, okay, um, so we have to come down to one of these. Uh, and we're going to say inspect records. Now, are you doing it? Or is somebody going to... You're going to do it, but you have to stand up to do it. Okay, that's fine. You've got, to, you've got to freshen your mind. You've just got to clear your head. Now we're looking for flying pigs. Whilst he gets on with that, we've uh, started to fill out the casino again. <laughs> because, you know, it was a decent little money earner for us. It took us a while to get there because we were poor. We were bought, but I feel like, yeah, we're back up now. Everyone who's in here is kind of spending some money. We're back up, like, you know, 22, 23,000 when we're not having much going on. The big problem at the moment is power. We're really struggling for uh, power space. Um, I mean, I guess we, we look at building some more power. I mean, it's, the basement probably seems the most obvious. I don't think we can build into this. How we get this gold, I don't know, but part of me would like to think that if we dig into the gold, it, we'll get it. There's no click or anything on it. I don't know where the light source is coming from. So let's have a look right above us. Is that so over here? We could go straight down to there, couldn't we? So maybe with our research we do stairs. It's gonna cost us eighteen thousand. For stairs. <laughs> like we've got computer consoles and nuclear power. And and a freeze ray. And we don't know how to build stairs. <laughs> Shady little so and so is coming in here. Need to get themselves distracted. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. They won't even make it to the casino. And that is the point of this build, by the way. I know a lot of people were saying, oh, you've got no traps or the corridor, just go straight into stuff. That's the point. The point is that they never really get past the casino. As long as you clock them, or if I can figure out how to turn this, uh, this you know, this. Uh, area on thing that we can do. As soon as I can figure that out, I'll turn it on. But at the minute, yeah, if uh, if they have distract, they get distracted before they even run out. It appears you found a mention of a flying pig. After all, it was created by a company called Ludo Technologies. Investigate further with force. Uh, raid the lab on the world stage. Okay, is it over here? Oh, we need to. I need a net. Oh no, we need a level two network. Man, they really make you work for this stuff, don't they? Well, to do that, we need more of those, and to do that, we need more of this stuff. <sighs> um, yeah, I think I think probably uh, building a power supply on the second floor isn't a bad idea. Shipping, moving these out into a larger room, I think is probably what we're going to have to do. But I feel like we're going to have to do that in the next episode. We got some stuff done. We, we we dealt with Incendio. We got the first stage of the Venom project up and running, which I imagine is going to go in this big old hole here. Um, but yeah, in there, we need to do a little bit of uh, just... Oh, bird. Uh, a little bit of base management, a little bit of upkeep, a little bit of caretaking before we can, you know, take over the world. And that's what's needed. Sometimes, you know, you want to take over the world... You've got to get your house in order, and we will do that in the next episode. Again, thank you so much for Rebellion for sponsoring these episodes. You can find out more information on this game and how you can purchase it at the link in the description. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Love you all to bits. Until the next one, be good.